And here in this video, I'm gonna run through with you the new way of selling, which I'm so excited to share with you right now, and I find this so applicable, especially for sales conversion during this time. So I'm gonna outline the differences between the old and the new way of selling in order for you to have better influence for your customers. Now, before I talk about the point number one, I would like to share with you the concept where we should turn the concept of selling into serving. Instead of asking ourselves on how can we better sell, ask ourselves on how can we better serve our target audience. So therefore, here are the five principles which I would like you to understand in order for you to cultivate this service mindset. And let's go to point number one. New age of selling will help our clients to decide on how to buy. Instead of looking on how to sell better to them, think on how you can make them have better purchasing decision. Number two, new age of selling requires you to listen to their needs instead of the old way where you just hard sell based on your features and benefits. And here's what I would like you to think. It depends on your ability on how well you can understand and actively listen to your customers' needs, wants, and desires. If you are having more empathy to better understand what they're looking for, they will be able to connect better with you and hence having a deeper level of trust. Now the old way of selling is just being hard sell, is to just memorize your script, memorize your unique selling point and it goes by just being very robotic. Point number three, new age of selling requires you to focus on the niche instead of selling to everybody. The old way of selling always thinks to treat everybody like a prospect. The new way of selling will require you to focus on the specific target market to understand one persona, one customer avatar that you want to serve in order for you to be the authority, for you to be able to have a certain niche. Point number four, new age of selling require you to practice on the relational element instead of just being transactional. Relational selling requires you to focus on building genuine and sincere relationship between you and your customers, while transactional selling focuses on doing a one-time off and has no further relationship building after that. Point number five, which is very important, new way of selling require you to provide a sense of comfort and connection with your customers. And we always term this as rapport, where the old way of selling requires you to exit high pressure tactics in order for you to close the deal. And most often, high pressure tactics will always lead to people feeling discomfort. A new way of selling requires you to continuously add value, have better trust between you and your customers to better connect with them. The next video, I'm going to walk through with you the five stages of conversion in order for you to better convert your customers to convince and convert them during this time of sales. And I will see you in the next video.